It used to be we flourished, the goo here kept us nourished. Now our lovely home's impurish, and we miss fresh goo. Smell like old socks from Mathra shoes. Ooh, goo, goo, there's just one thing to do. Find the key, stop the monster, and clean up the goo. Seconds, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three, come on. Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Ram from Ramsey.com, and I'm back, and I have returned to uh, SpongeBob SquarePants and uh, Nicktoons Globs of Doom for the Wii. I haven't played this game since 2018, so that's five years. Uh, the whole entire reason why I stopped playing this game is because uh, my, uh, my save file got deleted. But hey, now I can come back to this game and finally beat it all the way through. So uh, hopefully I can. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, it's not a long game. It's like a, uh, it's like a three-hour game, so uh, should be able to beat it. Pretty. Let's begin. I think we gotta do a new game because my save file got deleted. So we're starting from scratch, from square one. Let me see. Load game. Yeah, we got corrupt data. So new game. Here we go. And we'll do it in uh, square one. Actually, you want to create? It? Yes. New data. Let's. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a glitch in this game where uh, if you save the game while in one of the levels, it just deletes and corrupts your game. So you gotta save when you're in the hub area, not in one of the levels. If you're in the level, boom! You lose your save file and you gotta start from scratch. Oh yeah, the fourth level in this game is, Bath is uh, Bikini Bomb. I was about to say Bath Bikini Bomb. Why is Scrooge so stupid? Look at Scrooge's face, it looks like he's angry. Like he wants to kill Spongebob or something. It's fantastic. He's like, sponge it up. <laughs> you stupid sponge. You missed me for the last time, and now I'm gonna kick your butt. <laughs> now you're going the wrong way, Squid. Sponge is over here. I never understood why the uh, the people who made these uh, 3D models of SpongeBob, Pangelic, Squid, etc. do it so off model. Like, they have, you know, the resources to, you know, make them look good like just copy what Bath King Bomb did this is uh published by THQ right who published this game yeah THQ published this game THQ owns you know the white to Bath King Bomb and they own the uh, source code so I uh, couldn't THQ just say hey uh here's what Spongebob and Patrick's uh, 3D models look like in uh, Bath King Bomb just copy that you couldn't copy that you had to make your own you're like, nah, we'll build them Heavy Iron Studios. We can make our own model. Who needs the, you know, copy and paste, you know? We can just make them scratch. Maybe they're using, like, a different engine. Like, oh, we can't use these uh, 3D models because they're from this engine or something like that. But actually, it doesn't even work like that. It doesn't even work like that. Like, if you have the file and the right file name, you can just, you know, copy and paste, move over to a different one. It's uh, weird why they gave uh, you know Zim to the the heroes and Dib to the villains because I know in you know in video Zim Dib is technically the hero of the show and Zim is a villain but Zim is the main character so why is he, Zim you know hanging out with the uh, Nicktoons he should be the villain he should be hanging out with the villains and Dib should be the hero I don't know <laughs> it's like hey Zim's a protagonist so let's make him the hero of this uh, universe like you know um. Planet off in uh, the Invader Zim universe. Uh, it's screwed already. It's screwed. We we can't save it. I guess that's the dark process right there. Jimmy looks so weird in this game. Like they imagine, like, they imagine make beautiful gorgeous look fantastic. Like she looks like the candle from the cartoon. But when they had to, you know, adapt uh, Jimmy Neutron, which they had the resources, they had the reference to a 3D model of Jimmy Neutron, but they say, you know what, we're gonna upgrade Jimmy Neutron, we're gonna make him look a little bit different, and they, they couldn't do it, they couldn't make him look good. I like how Attack's uh, staff just looks like the same exact staff he had from uh, Attack and the Power of Juju 2. For the PlayStation 2, it looks exactly the same, except for now it has a little bit of, uh, you know, metal parts to it, like technology and stuff. Because, hey, oh, uh, it's, uh, the Magu, uh, power source or something like that. They gave them 
special equipment, special mechanics and additions to it, I guess. I don't know. Now let's play as beautiful gorgeous because it's fantastic. So you don't know there's a little similarity t between this game and um, uh, Looney Tunes Acne Awesome. Like they both have the same exact combat system except for this game, you don't have to hack and slash, you got buttons. Like they learned the lesson, like uh, THQ's like, um, hey, uh, Looney Tunes Acne Awesome, that game's so like garbage. But this game, this game's so, so amazing because you got hack and slash with buttons for the Wii. Fantastic. Yeah, that's pretty fantastic. Hey, Jam Master, how you doing? <laughs> I decided to let you continue on with whatever you were talking about uh, before I said something. Uh, I was talking about how this game is kind of like uh, Looney Tunes Acne also, but uh, instead of using, you know, the Wii Remote yeah, uh, motion yeah, controls, I, I now it. you can use the buttons. Like, that's a uniform... That's a... That's an improvement. Like, why couldn't the Looney Tunes Acne also use buttons, too? Like, they just like, hey... We know uh, the, the Wii is all about motion shows. Let's do some hack and slash wacko abilities, because everybody loves that. Even if it doesn't work, people love it. So, it seems like you're just starting this game. Yep. Uh, my uh, data got corrupted, so I got stuff from scratch. Oh, uh. Because I'm okay, playing the Wii version, out. yeah. Yeah, I, I, I played the Wii version too, and I looked online, and apparently it's a really weird thing, but, uh. Whenever you're about to exit the the game, load into the next level and then quit, and that actually prevents it from uh, it corrupting. Okay. And it worked. I did, like, I did two full playthroughs doing that, and it actually worked. So wh whenever I gotta save the game, I just gotta go into a level and then exit and save, and that's it. Yeah, like whenever you want to quit playing. So don't uh, quit load playing it. when you're in, a, in a, the hub area. The hub area corrupts the file. Yeah, okay. like load into the next okay. stage and then, well, load into the next stage and then exit back to the hub and then for some reason that'll, like, that fixes things and it's it's true, like, it does. It's weird. It's the strangest thing, I have no idea why it happened. How's it going? Hey, hey Yash, guys. how you doing? I'm alright, sorry about that. Uh, how, you do how are both of you doing, John? Uh, yeah. Sorry, I can't speak English today. Yeah. How are you gentlemen doing this weekend? How's huh? your Sunday? Pretty well. I got pretty, pretty full in uh, No More Heroes 3. I'm almost beat the game. It's pretty fun. Uh, I need to I need to buy that game. It's the only one I'm missing. Because yeah. I have the first and second one on the Wii. They seem to ramp up the humor in that game. It's like the uh, the Saints Row 4 of uh, No More Heroes. So well, it's like... It's sort of... Yeah, it's very over the top and comedic. Well, to me it feels like an actual sequel to the first game. The yeah. second one was was not really... Well, it's not a bad game, just not a good sequel. And uh, heads up, you need to play, uh, you know, Travis uh, Trek's back again if you want to know the full story of this game. Like, there's a few uh, story beats that you won't be able to understand unless you play that game. Oh, so now, so it's mandatory to play Travis Strikes Back? Okay, then. Yeah, because there's a cattle from that game that's now in this game, too, that's a big part of it. And uh, those weapons they get in this game, they also got in that game. So if you want to know how he got those weapons, you have to play, you know, Travis oh, Strikes Back so when I get that. It's like Persona 5 Royal and Strikers. Yeah, cool. it's like that. Gotcha. Well, speaking of Persona, I finished Persona 3 last, uh, two days ago. Uh, job wow. It was... You did something that I have not done, even though I own the game for like three years, four years, actually five years. Geez. Five years longer than you. <laughs> Let, let let me just tell you this: the final boss isn't. You're not gonna like it. You're okay. not gonna like the final boss. It's li literally a gauntlet match in every sense of the way possible. Yeah. So it's just insanely difficult. Yeah, I had to, I had to load state so many times because I was so depending on RNG. Well, in fact, <laughs> let me give, Please. let me give you like a small like a idea. In this, let me just go fetch the uh, the screenshots. I've heard the ending made the people cry. That's the one thing I hear a lot. Kind Why? Of, yeah. <laughs> kind Apparently of. the ending's really emotional. Okay. It is. Well, I don't want to really... Do you want to play the game or, should, or can I spoil it? Um, uh, don't spoil it for me or other people who are watching. Okay, fine. Okay, okay. Give, good. Okay, let me just post the image. But, uh, Jamas, do you have any plans on being those perform uh, Persona games yet? Because uh, I know that you're planning on you know beating every single game you got on a shelf. So, you have to uh, that game. They're all digital. Except for Persona 5. So, eventually, I will play for <coughs> Persona 5 for its entirety. 
Uh, I don't know when I'm going to get around to Persona 3 and Persona 4 Golden I'll live stream. So I, I will try and finish it via live streaming. I started playing that yesterday, actually. It's fun. I like Which it. means finally I can actually live stream it right and we don't have to watch the opening cutscene five times in a row while I'm trying to... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm all that stream. That was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was an awesome stream. <laughs> also, um... I couldn't get enough of that eagle guy. It's fantastic. Yeah. You couldn't get enough of uh, Rise in a bathing suit every yeah. single uh, time I op booted up the game. Also, Jeb, check uh, general or you know what I mean. Check, check chat real yeah, quick. Yeah, general chat. Check how it Discord. Check how, check how it started. Check how it ended. How in this case the party? It took me one full hour. To oh my gosh! Play. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, uh, so yeah, stock up on the uh, SP items, by the way. <laughs> J just okay, a so friend, that's yeah. interesting. I know oh. Ken. I know I guess. Who's the second guy? Oh, you don't know Akiko? Oh, Akihiko. Or... Okay, I, I guess I just. Oh, okay. I guess the icon just looks a little bit different than his. In oh, <laughs> he fell. Yeah, he literally fell. Yeah. 